Hey, Popeye, are the latest. Good morning, Popeye. Grandma watch Popeye's every morning and every night. Greetings, greetings, viewers and subscribers. In today's journey, well, I realize that you love the Montego Bay drive through So, we are going to step back a bit. And we are going to be starting at Sam Sharp Square in Montego Bay. This video, it was shot on Sunday, July 31st. <laughs> because if it was any other day in the week, we couldn't drive through Montego Bay so freely. So, sit back, relax, and drive with me. My viewers, my subscribers, on many occasions, I have said this on this channel. You will never hear me come here and endorse or support Jungle Justice. I have seen a lot of persons lost their lives innocently to jungle justice. Now, what am I talking about? There is a video circulating with a man that was killed in the retreat Negril Spot area in the parish of Westmoreland. Well, more than one videos are circulating. A man was seen lying dead in the middle of the street and persons in the crowd, they were celebrating his death because they were told that this hard-working man is a bike thief. None of the persons in the crowd knew what happened or what led to this. The same persons, they burned up the car that the man was in. Well, listen to me now and listen to me good. That man that was killed, he is not a thief. That man is a hard-working fisherman. And it wasn't him alone that was killed. Two other men were also killed by the same hoodlums who killed that man in the street. You're going to want to stick around to the last story. On this channel, we don't worry about carrying the news first. We pride ourselves in carrying the news accurately. Yeah man, that's what we do. We investigate and then we come. Because we could have released the story from morning, but we wanted to get the story right. We don't support hoodlums. So, you're not going to hear me come here and defend hoodlums. Especially if they are taken out. The three men that were killed last night, they are innocent, hard-working men. Stand by for the story. But first... We carried a story in April and we told you about an incident that took place on the afternoon of Wednesday, April 6th, 2022, about 4 o'clock. It took place at Buckner Lane in Grangel in the parish of Westmoreland. We told you that a lady in her early 30s, she was at home when a guy known as Krabs, he came to the house and asked for her spouse. The lady she told Krabs that her spouse was not at home. It is alleged that Krabs, he then pulled a knife from his waistband and pushed the knife right in the center of the lady's chest. The lady collapsed and fell to the ground. Krabs, him just bent down and wiped off the blood from the knife and some grass in the front of the yard. The little piece of nastiness, he then pushed back the knife in his waistband and calmly walked out of the yard the lady who was now bleeding like crazy she was assisted to the Savannah Lamar hospital by relatives where she was admitted in a serious condition we are told that she was subsequently released from hospital the police they carried out several raids trying to apprehend crabs but they didn't catch him but on wednesday august 3 2022 crabs he surrendered to the Grangel police. He surrendered at the Grangel police station. Apparently, he couldn't stand the heat. So, Krabs, he has since been arrested and charged by the police. Now, his correct name is Anton Morris and he lives in the same area where he stabbed the lady. Buckner Lane in Grangel. Krabs, he has been charged for the offence of wounding with intent and he will be going to the courts shortly to face his judgment. We also carried a story on Saturday, July 16th, 2022, and we told you about an incident that took place the previous day. Friday morning, July 15th, 2022, about some minutes to 
9 o'clock. It took place at Retreat District in the Little London Police Area in the parish of Westmoreland. We told you that that man on your screen, his name is Adam Smith, but he was popularly known as Corey. Corey, he was 25 years old and he was a bike mechanic. Corey lived at Retreat District. We told you that Corey, he was at a yard at Retreat. That yard, it also operates as a bike garage. Corey, he was at work when two hoodlums rode up on a motorcycle posing as customers. The hoodlums complained that something was wrong with the bike and needed to be fixed. Corey, he was walking towards them when the pillion, he brandished a gun and opened gunfire at Corey. Corey, he managed to run off but the hoodlum chased him, determined to kill Corey. Corey was hit and he fell to the ground and the hoodlum, he went over Corey and pumped some more bullets in his head and his upper body. The hoodlum, he then jumped back onto the motorcycle and he and his crony, they made good their escape from the area. Corey, he died on the spot. When the police processed the crime scene, we are told that 12 9mm pen shells were recovered from the scene. So the investigators, they got information that the hoodlum who shot Corey, he was popularly known as Bud Brain and he's from Hudson Street in Savannah Lamar in the parish of Westmoreland. Bud Brain, he is known to the police because he has been in and out of jail. Now, on Friday, July 29, 2022, the Westmoreland police, they carried out an operation in the Savannah Lamar area. And during that operation, Bud Brain, he was captured. He was subsequently placed on an ID parade where he was positively identified as the hoodlum who shot and killed Corey. As a result, he was arrested and charged for the offenses of murder and illegal possession of firearm. His correct name is Miranda Watkins. He is 23 years old and like we told you, he's living at Hudson Street in Savannah Lamar in the parish of Westmoreland. So, Bud Brain, he will be going to the courts shortly to face his judgment. So, <laughs> let me ask you something. Let me ask you something. Oh, <laughs> you hit on the thumbs up button already. Okay. So, have you subscribed to the channel? Oh, you have. So, are you telling a friend to tell a friend to subscribe? You are? Big up your nice, clean self. Yeah, man. Enough respect. Now, last night, the news broke. Three men. They went to Spring Gardens and they were attempting to steal a motorcycle and they were killed. My viewers, my subscribers, nothing no go so. Here is exactly what took place. Listen carefully. A man, his name is Devon Hendricks and he's popularly known as Shaba. Shaba, he was 47 years old and he was a fisherman of Salt Spring District in the Green Island Police Area in the parish of Hanover. Shaba, he is known to be a ladies' man. It is said that Shaba, he may always have enough money in his pocket. Shaba is known to be a bossy fisherman. Shaba work hard and him play hard. Shaba, he was involved with a lady. We are not going to say exactly where this lady lives, but she's living in the Little London Police Area in the parish of Westmoreland. One of Shaba's friends owned a Toyota Carola motor car. From time to time, Shaba would fill up his tank of gas and the journey to Westmoreland to look for this lady. Yesterday, Thursday, August 4th, 2022, in the afternoon, they left Hanover on that mission to go and look for the lady. They were accompanied by another friend named Melcardo Daly. Melcardo, he's popularly known as Ellie and he's in his early 40s. Ellie, he's said to be a mechanic as also a laborer. Now, for persons who know that area, if you are leaving Salt Spring in Anova and you are going to the Little London area, the easiest route to travel 
is through Spring Gardens area instead of going around to Green Island, then to Negril. This is the route that Shaba and his friends normally take. So yesterday, they took the same route and they went to check the lady. They left the Little London area about some minutes to 7 o'clock last night. And on reaching the retreat main road, they turned towards Spring Gardens to go to Salt Spring to go home. On reaching Spring Gardens, the car, it collided into a motorcycle. We are not sure how the accident occurred, but the car and a motorcycle collided. Shaba and his friends, they stopped and they came out. They wanted to see the extent of the damage done to the car as also the bike. We are told that the two guys on the bike, they came off with guns in hand. They were joined by a third hoodlum who also had a gun. On seeing this, all three men, Shaba, Eli, and their friend, who shall remain nameless, they ran off. Shaba, he managed to jump into the car and drove off. His two friends, they ran off into a nearby cane field. Shaba, he drove out onto the retreat main road with the hoodlums still chasing and firing shots at Shaba. We are not sure why Shaba stopped, but he stopped the car on the main road, came out of it and ran. The hoodlums, they chased and caught up with Shaba and they shot him. Shaba fell to the ground. The Nasi Dutti drank of them. They also robbed Shaba of thousands of dollars that he had in his pockets. We are told that by this time, some residents of nearby communities, they started coming out to see what was happening. The three hoodlums, they told members of the community that the man who is lying on the ground and two other men, they came to Spring Gardens and attempted to steal a motorbike. Some of the citizens, they then used machetes to chop Shaba in his head. They also set the car on fire. If you look on your screen, that is the burnt out Toyota Corolla. But hold on, you're not here, nothing yet. The three hoodlums, they were returning to Spring Gardens. Them blood hot. Them just make a dopey. We are told that when they reached at the old sugar house at retreat, they saw a man coming out of the cane field. Now, this man, him not even know what was happening. You know what one of the hoodlums did? He ran up to this man and without asking him any questions at all, BAM! One shot to the man's head, killing him on the spot. At the time of recording this video, we haven't gotten the name of that man. He has not yet been identified. Now, early this morning, the news started circulating that another body was found. The police were informed and they went to an area near Mazemuir in the Little London Police area where the body of Melcardo Daly, also known as Ellie, was found. His face was bashed in and he also had chap wounds to his face. He died from last night. So you are now wondering, what about the third man who was there with them? That man, he's the owner of the car. Well, that man, he hid in a cane field until this morning. When it was safe, he called someone to come and pick him up. The man, he was able to give the police a statement and told the police exactly what took place. Just like that, three innocent lives are gone. And it could have been four innocent lives that were taken. That is why I will forever say, you will not hear me come here and support jungle justice. Just think about this. Think about this. What happened last night to Shaba and his friends? It could have happened to any man. It's not like they were in a bad company. All three men are honest, hardworking individual. And you know what is sad? You know what is sad? Some of you listening to this, uno chap Shaba. Some of uno. Yes, Uno help chap Shaba. And guess what happened? No? Uno, 
Uno know who the bike thieves are. Uno, uno know who the gunmen are. As a matter of fact, as a matter of fact, the three hoodlums who attack and shot Shaba. Uno allow them to leave and uno fling chap in an innocent Shaba. <laughs> Boy, may I tell you, the mayhem continues. Blessed love, everybody. Tell a friend, for tell a friend, for tell a friend about Papa in News Link and PNL Blog TV. Like, subscribe, and share. Quick silver, sin. If we just unite, what a country this will be. If we just unite, Jamaica live in unity. If we just unite, what a country this will be. Me want me country back, give me me country back Cry with a 